Well, we're back with the IBM 5140 PC convertible. After I did the first video on this, I was very intrigued by the, by the unit itself, but also by the various adapters that I mentioned that you could get for this. So I had a scour online, coned eBay, and I managed to find, first of all, one of these. Now, despite its rather grotty box, this is a brand new, albeit very old, CRT display adapter for the PC convertible. So let's uh, take it out of its box. Let's take those off. Box out of the way. Yeah, so there it is. You know what? It's lovely, still sealed in the original polythene bag. 1980s goodness. It's <laughs> not a particularly exciting bit of kit, but I'll turn it around as I said. It's, it's, oh, well, there we go. Let's take it out of the bag as I've now torn the bag. <laughs> All right, so there we go. One brand new CRT adapter. Now, it has two ports. It has, this one here is for, this is an RCA jack, which outputs composite video. And then under here, I believe, we can take this off. Yes, I don't know you, how well you can see that. Probably not, it's because it's buried deep inside. There is a multi-pin connector in there which will take a CGA connector for a suitable IBM compatible CGA monitor. So that was that, was that and I, I was well pleased to get that, particularly as it, was, as it was brand new. And then shortly after that, also on eBay, I managed to find one of these. Now this, I was particularly pleased about getting. It's a little bit grubby, but it's not in bad nick. Uh, this is the IBM 5140 PC Convertibles printer, which goes on the back. And uh, it's uh, in pretty good nick internally. Um, now, the uh, the seller was honest enough to say that he didn't know whether this worked or not, obviously, because he, he didn't have a 5140 to test it with. But I'm hoping that we'll uh, we'll be able to stick some paper in there, get it connected up and actually print something out from the 5140. Okay, I've moved over to the workbench for the installation and operation of the printer. It's just a lot easier to do it than it than it is on the coffee table. So, this is the back of the PC convertible. And obviously, this is the printer and the whole thing basically connects uh, like this but there is a catch on the printer which which we need to operate in order to actually clip it in place which is at this end well you, well, you can see this I'll just uh, uh, in, inside the printer at this end again I, I don't know how well that's going to show up on the camera uh, there is a catch and that's this little thing here and uh, basically this little metal lever lifts up and then this folds out like that as you can see and then these grip when you close the catch these grip onto the metal mating half which is on on the back of the uh, pc convertible so we bring the printer in and we engage the clips at this end first it's just a hook metal metal hook type clip then we bring this end in like that push it and lock it down with the metal tab and this is the printer now fixed in and engaged So we insert our paper here, hopefully. I'm gonna play ball, there we go. And that goes down into there like that. And then there is a feed-in uh, wheel on the side here, which allows us to draw the paper in. Let me come around the other side and do it. And there we are, got the paper loaded. So this is what it looks like when the printer's connected and the, and the PC convertible is open. Now what I'll do is I'll move the camera around so that the camera is actually just looking at the paper. So you can see the actual, if it's gonna print. I've got a sample text file on this disc in the B drive and I'm just gonna power the thing up and attempt to print that text file out on that bit of paper. Right, power on. There we go. 
Now, I don't know whether the printer is actually going to do anything as the computer powers up, but we might see some action. Uh, the 5140 is going through its RAM check. As you can hear the drive. Oh, oh, that sounded hopeful. A couple of beeps and the carriage moved. <laughs> it's, it's better than nothing at all. Right, we'll let it boot into DOS. The, the printer does have some switches. This is a line feed button. Oh, whoa, did you see that? Excellent. That does sound hopeful. Of course, we don't know whether there's any... I mean, the, the, the ink ribbon could be all dry. So, oh, well, yes, it has a line feed button. It has a online offline switch. And this is a intensity slider. And obviously this way is the darkest. So we'll go with that because we don't know at the moment. As I said, we don't know the state of the ribbon. Right, so it's, it's online and obviously it's powered because we saw it move so let's try printing this text file okay it's reading the file it says b text the test file is currently being printed but it's not actually doing anything. <laughs> okay, let's try switching the on and offline switch. Oh, that did something. Let's try it again. Yes, look at that. It's actually working. I am amazed. <laughs> Bear in mind that this thing is, you know, this the printer would have been made in the 1980s. And it's, it's, it's actually printed out the text file. Right, let's uh, let it finish doing that. I'll pull that off and uh, you know, have a close up look at the. Well, there you have it. It's, it's actually very legible. I mean, yeah, there's some bits of the, uh, of the letters which are not quite have not quite come out properly but you can you you can read it it's you know it's perfectly legible text so i think that's quite an amazing achievement really considering the age of this 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 printer um and god knows how it's long it's been since this thing was actually used and and, it, and since it's, it's actually printed out anything before so there does seem to be something a little bit iffy with the online offline switch but um we'll do it again see what see whether we can just get it to to print continuous now what i'll do this time is i'll flick the online offline switch over just before i print so we'll turn it to offline then we'll turn it to online and i'll hit print let's see what it does Yeah, it, it, it seems to print a single line and and let's have a look. Yes, it prints a single line, but it doesn't print the second line. Yeah. Which is sort of interesting, but um It does actually print it, so it may be that. Um, <clears throat> okay. well, you can see that. How well you can see that. I think it's actually getting better. The the, the text is, is 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 better this second the second time I did it. So yeah, amazing. It works. <laughs> well, when I started this video, I was gonna cover the CRT display converter in the same video, but this one is already running rather long. So I think we'll call it a day for now and just do the printer in this video. So anyway, that's it for now. I hope you've enjoyed this, the second video. There's obviously gonna be three now on the IBM PC convertible. This one specifically on the printer, but uh, amazingly for something which is what, at least probably 34 years old, 
it's working and it works. There's a few idiosyncrasies with it, I freely admit, but it does actually print, which is uh, quite incredible. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. Thanks very much for watching as always. Cheers.